Do I live in it? So astounding. Love is an ocean, you can drown me. The sweet embrace, the lovely taste, I taste the sea. I'm under grace, the place to be. It means I'll never need an umbrella. I'm cool in the cold, in the hot weather. Whether or never I ever understand. Okay, kids, take care of your brother, okay? I've got some unfinished business to do. I'll leave it to him. Bye. One day, when they were all out in the field, slave miners from Egypt were passing by, and his brothers devised a plan to sell Josemba to them. Excuse me, we have a slave here. It's very good quality. Sell him to us for five bucks. Uh, oh, that's okay, just five cents, five cents. Deal. At least give me some money too, you know. Eventually, Joe Simba got sold off to an Egyptian household. His new owner was Puma Butter. What was it? Pum, pum butterfur, pum butterfur. Hey, what is your name? Josimba. Josimba? Yes. Um, you you look like a really good guy. You you want some milk? Yes. Hello, babe. <laughs> Who's it is? Who's it is? Who's his name, babe? His name is um jo Joseph Joseph Simba. Josimba. Okay, babe. I will take care of him. Do you do you have somewhere to go? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I have. I'll take out a business see meeting. Ya, see ya. <laughs> okay, your name is Joseph. Oh no, Joseph. Ooh. Ooh. You look hot. Wow, wow, wow. You, you have muscles and you have a tight muscles. Ooh. Fine skins. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody help me! Somebody help me! Somebody help me! Hey, ba baby, baby, Somebody baby! Hey, hey, what's wrong, baby? Hey, he tried to touch me! What? He tried to touch me! No, no, he won't do that. I you. want you to kill him, babe. He wants to touch me here. Look at this. No, I love you. He's a teacher to right here, babe. Why would he do that to you? Um, I want you to kill him, babe. Hey. Do you want me to do that? Yes. I love you. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> However, because of Joe Simba's ability to interpret dreams, he became widely known. One day, he was called upon by the Pharaoh. It's so hard being Pharaoh. 
500 wives, 1,000 concubines. It's exhausting. <laughs> but last night I had a dream. It wasn't a dream, it was a nightmare. It was like these, these seven, like, fat giraffes, okay? Like, huge. And then after the giraffes, there's these seven skinny zebras. Okay? Yes. But the weird thing was, is the giraffes eat the zebras, but they don't normally eat meat. But, yes. Like, I've asked all my priests, nothing. I've asked all the gods, nothing. But there is word that you can interpret dreams. <clears throat> well, that means there are going to be seven years of good gods and seven years of famine. Oh, you are so wise. You know how to interpret dreams, and that must only come from the true God. Yes, my Lord. <clears throat> I have no one in my kingdom to take care of all these things while I take care of my harem. Can you take care of my kingdom? Sure. Joe Simba's realization that it was God's plan for everything that had happened and Pharaoh's favor... Uh, allowed him to reconcile with his brothers and so and so they all came together in Egypt <laughs> what a wonderful phrase Hakuna Matata ain't no peasant craze it means no worries for the rest of your days. It's our problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata? Yeah, it's our motto. What's the motto? Nothing. What's the motto with you? <laughs>